Hi everyone, this is Anna. Welcome back to Cactus Caffeine. This is part 2 of my trip to the Springs Preserve Botanical Garden. If you haven't seen the first part, I will go ahead and put the link on top so you can go ahead and watch it first. Alright, so happy watching! We're headed into the Cactus Alley. As if you've not seen so many cactus already and that's just the entrance. So this is the main garden. This is a Joshua tree. This is something endemic in the Mojave Desert in Nevada. This Joshua tree is huge. It is so tall. Ooh, sorry for the glare in the sun. That's a barrel cactus, the California barrel cactus in a diamond choya at the back. And like I said, hedgehogs, you'll see a lot of this in Nevada. So this is a strawberry hedgehog. Uh, this has pretty flowers. Maybe I'll come back here when it's um, spring. That's, uh, not spring, sorry. It is spring right now in summer. So just so you can see the flowers on the cacti. Another saguaro over there. I'll give you a close up of a saguaro. This, I've never seen this Apuntia before. Usually I see Apuntia pads. This one looks like sticks. <laughs> it's a short joint beaver tail. More uh -huh. spiny Apuntias there. I just love how the sun reflects against those pines. So as you can see, since this is out here um, in the environment, in a harsh environment, oh, this is a cactus but you can hardly see its body, it's mostly thorns. So that's how they grow here out in the desert. see there's a lot of buds forming on this hedgehog cactus so I hope to come back here maybe uh, in summertime these are ready to open right now they're just starting to form
look at the size of that shoya. Must be very old. I think it's like eight feet wide. My camera cannot get the whole plant, but it's just emerging from one trunk. Let me go underneath so you'll see. So it's just one plant, but it is very, very old. It has grown really wide. It's not very tall. I'd say about five feet tall, but it is wide. This is an agave that put out a long flower spine that it already hit the other plant up there. Is a beauty. It's a Mexican fire barrel cactus or a feral cactus springly eye. Wow, look at those red spines. And it is starting to form buds as well. It's pretty. More barrels. These are feral cactus with Lizeni. Or the compass barrel.
So here is a beautiful patch of aloes that are in bloom. They have some interesting pots here, an arrangement of mixed cactus and succulents. Hmm. There's a tall totem pole cactus. And then below it... Look at that! It's a bishop's cap. Um, Astrophytum Myriostigma I didn't know I can keep that in my backyard This is a big one Oh, oh look It's a baby agave, so cute I believe this is some kind of a uh, choya. Oh, this one's got buds. Ooh. Now, I really like this cactus pot arrangement here. I think I'm going to make one for my backyard. This is uh, some kind of an echinopsis. An aloe. And this, this looks like a Trichocereus grandiflora. Ooh, lots of buds. back there okay I am definitely copying this cactus pot Not all the plants have labels on them and if you look um, at the plants it looks kind of messy because the cactus is growing in between big rocks, uh, grass and uh, desert bushes but they actually help the cactus because these grass and bushes they provide some shade for the cactus especially when it's scorching hot during the summer.
So that concludes our trip to the Springs Preserve. Again, if you are here in Las Vegas, Nevada, I would encourage you all to visit this place. And the trip to the Botanical Garden, by the way, is free. So that is great. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And have a nice day.